Okay, today we are measuring the amount of force necessary to move the hydraulics so that we have an idea of what kind of worm drives we'll need to use in order to move, move the, these syringes. So, um, what we did is we tied this plastic bag to one of them, the one that we thought was stiffest, and then, and then we started filling it with rocks. We started putting rocks in until um, it started to move. So we just kept adding rocks. And then after a certain it just started moving. It kind of got stuck a little bit and then it started to go. So Alex, demonstrate that. She's putting it back. So. Okay. Whoa, Doi, put it down I here, it. please. I got it. Thank you. All right, are you demonstrating it? Yes. Okay, see how the robot arm is moving? Demonstrate it again. Just put that down and put that where it's not pulling on cables. Okay. Whoa. You see it? All right, so now we can weigh this bag of rocks, and then we'll know how many pounds of force it takes to move the robot arm slowly. So, so Alex wants to do like a whole series of test runs and do science and write it all down and I figure think, out different forces. I think that up, that might actually be the best way to go. Like at least doing multiple trials, just so that we can like. <sighs> I just want to go measure this and see how many pounds of force. This is science. Make it move. <laughs> so we're going to do that next. We're going to weigh the bag and then possibly do a couple more runs with different measurements and figure out how many pounds of force necessary. Then we can go on the internet and find a couple of worm drives that are cheap but powerful enough to drive these syringes and then we'll just need to build a bracket some kind of bracket where the worm drives can squeeze apart uh, together and apart the uh, the syringes so let's uh let's go do we're gonna take this we don't have a, an accurate postage scale here untie that please Alex so um, we're gonna take it to the grocery store and just put it in their little produce bin where it's a lot more accurate but for now, we can do a quick estimate using this piece of junk. This is only accurate to about one pound. Please tell so me at least we'll see. We need to use the metric system, dude. We need to use grams. What's a conversion? Measure with mass. It doesn't even register. No, so we can't measure with, gas with mass unless we use a balance. It uses weights on both sides. It I'm doesn't even scared. register, yeah, so this is probably mass. less than one pound. So we're going to go to the grocery store where they have a much more accurate scale, and then we'll figure it out. Work. Dang it. Work. What if you look who's talking? And then you held the box bag of rocks and then stood on it, because I think okay, it's meant for... Okay, let's try that. I think it's meant for... Wait, wait. Put the Zero. phone down. Put the phone down. Why do I got to put the phone down? Oh, well, you What's don't have say? to. 204. Oh, man. No. <laughs> Look, this thing is wildly inaccurate, okay? It's 206. Oh, no, that, that's broken. That, that's broken. Yeah, that's totally broken. Whoa. Um. All right, so anyway, it's plus or minus like three pounds on this thing, I swear. Let me try that thing out. At least. Let me take a crack at it. You shush. You get on the scale, Sean. Let's see how much you weigh. I will. All right, well, that's it for today.